Hey everyone, today I want to walk you through the myviewboard.com website and show you where you can download different whiteboard applications and you can also choose your defaults for the whiteboard app. So first thing that I want to do is I want to sign in right here. And I want to sign in with my Google credentials. And while it loads, we're going to cover the interface of what you see on the top and also some of the things that you see here towards the bottom. First, you can create a classroom session. You can throw to a whiteboard. You can share your screen. You can receive a screen. And right here, though, is what we'll be talking about in just a moment with our follow me settings. That's really important to look at that. Now, down here, you have the download my view board application. So if I click on that, these three applications I'm going to show you are the ones that I usually use. The whiteboard app, which is for Windows and other platforms as well, but I use the Windows version. The companion app, which is uh, the app that you'll have on your phone. And the display app, which will let you mirror your Chromebook or your laptop to the IFP. And we use the Windows version for that. Now there's other things that you can do here as well, and I encourage you to look into those. And now down here, we have different features that you can look into also. The originals are just different lesson plans that my viewport has put together. They're really good. You can check those out. The wiki has some information for you that will help you learn more about my viewboard and so forth. And there's different things that you can check out down here. Now let's get into the follow me app settings. So why is this important? So when you go to the whiteboard app and you log on, as soon as you log on, these settings will appear for you. So such as a change of the color of the pen, the size of the pen, different font sizes. Also, whether you are connecting to Google so that you can upload and download files and so forth. So let's kind of go through these one at a time. On the settings here, you're going to choose education. I often think that I should choose business because I think business has more stuff in it. In this case, it's the direct opposite. Education has polls and quizzes and pop quizzes and more features for you that you will enjoy. I don't change any of this right through here. Um, I do like to show the time and I always enable the wireless presentation as well. Okay, the others I leave off. Now down here, a font size of 34, that is my text font size. And that looks pretty good for most angles inside your classroom. And I use the font color of white. If I wanted to change that, I could just click on it and choose a different color. And then I would confirm down here when I'm ready to do that. Pin settings, if you want to change that, you just go right here and change whatever size you want. I think three works pretty well. And then my pin color is white also. Now that's important because my background is going to be blue. So after you're done, you just press confirm and it saves it for you. Now let's go back up here, go to cloud integration. With our domain, we already have all of our teachers uh, bound to Google Drive so that that will show up when we are uploading and downloading files inside the Whiteboard app. If you have something else that you use, maybe like Dropbox or OneDrive, that works out well too. You're just gonna click on bind and then add your credentials here. Bookmarks. You can add some bookmarks if you want. So if you go to education, there's different bookmarks that will show up when you're using the browser inside the Whiteboard app. Um, I don't really use that that much, but you can choose whichever ones that you like to choose. For the background setting, I chose a royal blue color. You can change that down here if you want. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And I've actually uploaded a few pictures here. I have the Iron Patriot, which I really like. You can do that if you want. But if you want to change the background color, just go over here to Education. So you can choose a different color here, or you can choose one of these bubble backgrounds, or a 3x5 card, or the world map, or a flow chart, or wherever it may be. Now, you can change these inside the Whiteboard app, but remember, this is just your default. So what will happen as soon as you first start up? So I choose a color. So if you want to change this color, just click right here, and you can choose any color that you want. Just slide it around, move the uh, indicator around to, to be the color that you want to choose. Okay, then after you're done, you're just going to go to set as default. So the last thing that we'll talk about with our follow me settings is our shape pin setting. And again, this is just a fun tool to use. Um, I have trees selected for when I choose this pin 
inside the whiteboard app. But you can change it if you want to. You can change it to the finches. You can change it to clouds, a sun, happy face, wherever it may be. Just click on it and then set as default. A couple of things I want to show you up here is when you get into it for the first time into the myviewboard.com website, you're probably going to see like that generic egghead looking profile. To change that, just click on it. Okay, I'm going to click on mine. This is a little bit emoji that I put in here. And go to edit account. And right here is where you can choose your avatar and you just upload an image to change that. Okay, do that first. And then down here, um, you can put down your account settings. And this right here is really important. It's the My View Board host name. And typically, it's your entire email address. So I change this to make it shorter for my students to type in when they're connecting to the My View Board lesson. So I chose Jerry Broyles, and this is worldwide. So I just happen to be the first Jerry Broyles to actually name this, okay? So you may have to put a one or a two or some other number after yours if your name is pretty common. Um, and again, make it appropriate because this will be showing on your My View Board whiteboard app in the top left-hand corner. So hopefully now you have a good understanding of the default settings that you can set up prior to opening up the whiteboard app and knowing that those will follow you to every whiteboard app that you open on an IFP. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at my email address or at jerrybroils1 on the Twitter.